everyone, welcome to another episode of Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. I'm your host Kaylee Hibatari, and today we are going to continue investigating um, for case 5, Bridge to Turnabout. Let's get into it. Date unknown, time unknown, location unknown. Who could that be at the t this time of night? Yes, Edward speaking. Edgy, get up! It's an emergency! Huh? Larry, do you know what time it is? It's not Larry, it's Larry's. Larry's don't need. This is nothing more than a terrible nightmare. I'll just roll over and... Wait, don't hang up! It's an emergency! It's Nick, he, he, he took a really nasty spill. Well, it wouldn't be the first time, so... I'm not joking, his life is in danger! What? What happened? Talk about a guy with bad luck, he may already be dead! Anyway, you've gotta come back. You're the only one that can help. My Iris, my beautiful Iris, she needs help. Alright, I don't know what's going on, but I'll be there as soon as I can. I'm at the detention center, please, hurry! It's been one year since I left that country. I don't even know how that annoyance Larry got this number. But I f and I thought I wouldn't have to see him again for a while. Sounds like it won't be a pretty reunion. As if I expected anything to change. Annoying Larry getting a hold of my number and pulling me back to the United States. <sighs> Well, looks like here I am, February 8th, 2.19pm. Detention Center's visitor's room. You're late, Edgy! It took you so long! I don't want to hear it. I chartered a private jet to come as quickly as I could. Well, you should have chartered a faster one! Anyway, just listen! Something happened to Miss Elise and... and uh huh? Say something, Edgy! Before I came here, I stopped in at the hospital where Brett is. I believe I have a better understanding of the situation than you at this point. The murder victim was a picture book author, Miss Elise Domine. She was found by Wright and the head nun. The suspect is the temple's younger nun. Then later, while Bright was crossing the bridge, it broke, and he fell into the river. The hospital says that he'll need at least two days of bed rest. Y yes uh, that's right. You got it. But they arrested her, my sweet little Iris. And here I was convinced he was the one the police had arrested. <clears throat> However, I still don't understand, but... These two items are for. What are you talking about? Those things Wright gave to me when I was leaving his room. This is the first. He said some nonsense about being able to see into people's hearts with this. And the other. He couldn't possibly be asking what I think he is, could he? Iris's trial starts tomorrow. He's Nick out of the picture. You're all I've got left. You're the only one that can represent her. What did you just say? You know, represent, defend? What were you expecting? Why do you think I called you anyway? I'm a prosecutor, Larry. A prosecutor. Do you understand what I'm saying? A prosecutor is a lawyer who... Don't talk to me like a kid. I graduated from junior high, you know? Don't worry about it. I promise I won't tell. But I... I mean, I heard a paper badge had no problem fooling an entire court before. How could this country's judicial system have fallen into such... Decay. 
Is this what happens when I'm not around to prosecute to the prosecute uh, prosecutor's office these days? Please, Edgy. At least listen to her. Listen to Iris's side of the story. So Wright wasn't joking when he gave me this badge after all. Thank you for coming. My name is Iris. Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. I don't know if I can be of any help, but... I will at least hear what you have to say about the murder. Um... Mr. Wright? H how is he? Mr. Larisse said that he... that he might even die. Fortunately, he will be fine. Why are you a moron? How could you say something like that? He was badly bruised when he hit the water, but otherwise, he is unharmed. Thank goodness. But he's caught some kind of nasty cold. A cold? He's running a high fever and is drifting in and out of consciousness. I must be imagining things. This woman. I feel like I've met her before. Alright, she knew Dahlia too. <clears throat> Let's start talking to her. Pardon me, Iris. I would like to ask you something, if you don't mind. I have a distinct feeling you and I have met before. It, it must be your imagination, Mr. Hedgeworth. After all, I hardly ever leave Hazakura Temple. Hazakura Temple? What's that? It's a place where those who wish to boost their spiritual power come to train. You need to undergo some difficult training to release your inner spiritual power. Spiritual power? Did you go to that temple for that reason as well? No, I don't have any spiritual powers. I don't need them. In that case, what are you doing at that temple then? I... I've... committed some sins. Sins that I need to pay for. That's why I'm there, and why I continue to train to purify my soul. She looks so sad. I love this part of the game. We get to be Edgeworth. <laughs> Probably would inspire the spin-off series for him. <laughs> I want to ask you about last night. The night of the crime. Alright. I had to clean up after dinner, and then went back to my room at about 8. Later, I left my room to ring the lights out bell at 10. Bell? You ring it at the same time each night. I see. And then? And, and then? I was told to go to the training hall, but... I went back to my room and stayed there. Why didn't you go to the training hall like you were asked to? I was frightened. Frightened. So I just stayed in my room and meditated until the murder happened. There's more to her story. I just know there is. Maybe I should dig a little deeper. You asked to go to the training hall on the night of the murder. Yes. However, you didn't go. Because you say you were frightened. What exactly were you so frightened of? What's this? W what in the world? Um, is there something wrong? I'm sorry, it's nothing. It looks like she's not aware of them herself. This must be what Wright was talking about. The Cyclops. I believe he said that I need to present the Megatoma item to do something. <clears throat> Maybe I will do it now as a tutorial one, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's just keep talking to her. 
Do you have any idea as to what really occurred last night? I think it, <coughs> it was the result of the tremendous spiritual power that was unleashed. Spiritual power? Yes, spiritual training has been a cause behind many great tragedies. This incident was just another example. Iris, I'm sorry, but I can't accept that. I'm a man of science. I don't believe in spiritual power. Yes, I understand. No, uh, most people don't. And I am certain that the thing that killed the victim was a human. So please answer me this simple question. Were you the one who killed Elise Domain? No. I'm not the one who took her life. Hmm. Those Cyclox things didn't appear. I suppose that means I can believe that she's not lying. <laughs> What's wrong? I can't believe what I'm thinking. And here I just finished saying that I don't believe in spiritual power. Hmm. It appears that's about all that you can tell me. Thank you very much for listening to my story. I visited right at the hospital before coming here. He asked me to take care of you. M me? Yes, at the trial tomorrow, he asked me to defend you. If Mr. Wright has that much faith in you, Mr. Edgeworth, then I will gladly entrust my fate in your capable hands. But before that, I have one question. Yes? <clears throat> Do you know Wright? Uh, why would you ask that? Whenever you came up in our conversation, he would begin to act a little strange. Mr. Edgeworth, are you his friend? Friend? Well, in a sense, yes. It was five years ago. That's when I... That's when I deceived him. You deceived him. I heard that he was in a lot of pain after what happened. I know what a weak person I am. That's why... That's why I thought it was best if he never saw me again. I wanted him to just forget about me without learning the truth. Well, if you ask me, Bright is still suffering. And until he learns the truth, I don't think he will ever be able to truly recover. Iris, it's not too late. You should go to him. Tell him the truth. I'll defend you, but only if you agree to that one condition. Alright, Mr. Edgeworth. I promise. When this is over, I'll tell him. Very well. I'll do everything in my power to get you an acquittal. That's enough information gathering for now. I should head to the crime scene. <clears throat> Alright, so it's giving us a clue as to where to go. Suspension Bridge. February 8th, Dusky Bridge. It sure is cold, alright. So, this is it. Dusky Bridge. Um, uh, Mr. Edgeworth, sir? Uh, Detective Gumshoe? Long time no see. It's been about a year. Or has it been longer? It doesn't matter, Detective. What does matter is why you're shuffling around up here. Oh, ouch! And, uh, there was a sharp left jab. Well, I'm happy to see you anyway, Mr. Edgeworth, sir. Let me guess. You were transferred into another section at work. Good choice. The vast amount of nothing up here must be quite easy to guard. I heard you were back in the country and arranged to come all the way out here, sir. Everybody was really nice. They even let me take charge of the investigation, sir. Come to you indeed. 
Like, come on, your shoe! He's impossible to get rid of. I suppose we're important on the details of the crime scene, sir. Anyway, here I am, Detective Dick Gumtree, reporting for duty. Great, um, thank you, Detective. Yeah! Gumtree and Edgeworth, united again at last! I thought Prosecutor Goto was gonna get here before me, though. That guy's a real mystery, I tell you. Prosecutor Goto. Hmm. Maybe Gumtree can tell me more about this new prosecutor. But first, I just got back into the country, so I don't really know much about this case. It's simple. Well, simple as a simple does, as they say. Oh, you've got no idea how much I've missed that biting sarcasm of yours, sir. But seriously, this one's a piece of cake. There's a witness that saw the whole thing. A witness? Yeah, the bikini lady. Bikini lady? Here on this freezing cold mountain? Well, you should talk to her yourself. If you want the details, sir. I may have to talk to this bikini lady. I mean, decisive witness myself. On the bridge? <clears throat> so, this is the bridge that Wright fell through. Yep. I can't imagine being that reckless myself. Look, before you cross, is how it goes, right? Or was the leap? And... Is there something on the other side? Yeah, some old building they call the Inner Temple. But we can't get over there without a bridge, sir. What? Nobody lives there, so it's usually not a problem. But someone was in the Inner Temple, doing some training, and now they're stuck there. <coughs> yes, I heard that from Wright. It's my affair. Oh no, her again? She gets into the most because of trouble, sir. Anyway, the air is really turbulent right now, so we can't do an aerial extraction yet. No one's going to be able to reach the inner temple until tomorrow, sir. Will she be all right in the cold? So how did this bridge burn down anyway? We're almost 100% sure it was lightning. Lightning. So there was lightning that night, was there? Well, I'd still like to hear about this new prosecutor. So where's this prosecutor Goto? I've never heard of him. Yeah, he's a new guy. Showed up after you left the country. He's a complete rookie, but nobody can say a bad word about the guy. <clears throat> what kind of a man is he? He just became a prosecutor recently, but he's good, sir. Real good. If he's so good, how is it that I've never heard of him? Is he the lead prosecutor on this case? You bet he is. After all, you know who is right in the middle of it. You know who? Phoenix Wright, of course. For some reason, Goto has really got it in for Mr. Wright. Oh? Yeah, he seems to have some kind of a grudge. What would be the cause of this grudge? I don't know. Maybe he made fun of his mask or something. None of this is making any sense. I'd better look into this goto myself. Since Gumshoe cannot give me any reliable information, as always. You're telling me the bridge caught on fire due to a fluke bolt of lightning? Yep. Last night it snowed for the first time in three days. It's a little unusual for lightning to occur during a snowfall like that. But according to the weather data, lightning definitely struck. Weather data added to the record. Hmm, I see. This is a very detailed weather report. Almost too detailed. It even has the exact time that the lightning struck the bridge. Oh, that... 
You need all that information from the witness's testimony. Someone actually saw the lightning hit the bridge. Wait, someone actually saw the lightning hit the bridge? Who is this witness? Sorry, I'll go ask one of the local cops later, sir. Well, I suppose that's all I'm gonna gather from him right now. So, let's check out this crime scene. Yo, Angie! What took you so long? I'm so cold, my brain's turned to... Sherbet. I knew it was a mistake to race back to this country. But what do you mean? It is going to be fine, and the case itself isn't anything unusual. I never found myself taking a request to defend a woman accused of murder. Hey, hey wait a sec! Uh, hold it! Objection! What's going on here, Mr. Edgeworth? Um, it's hard to explain. But one thing led to another, and... What kind of lame excuse is that? And you call yourself a defense attorney? Prosecutor Edward is a prosecutor! And that's why he's Prosecutor Edward! Prosecutor Edward, defense attorney, just sounds plain old weird, pal. Right, Prosecutor Edward? I'm not sure what role I'm supposed to be playing anymore. Dude, Edgy, I don't see you for a couple of years. And your heart turns to sherbet? I'd say more like sorbet. It is rather cold here. I just didn't murder her. Someone else did it. I didn't know it, okay? So trust me on this one. Ever the romantic, aren't you, Larry? Nevertheless, I'll do whatever I can to prove her innocence. <coughs> At least until I pass the baton on to right. Well, Larry, do you have anything useful to say for a change? Man, I'm telling you, Iris is so cute. Right, Edgy? You think so too, don't you? What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? To put it simply, your comment has me highly concerned. Could it be that the reason you think she's innocent? Come on, a little girl that cute can't possibly be a murderer. Uh, I was right after all. I should never have come back. Oh, no, don't worry. I see things are how they really are. This time, honest. If I had a penny for every time he said that. It's just that... Well, Iris is a delicate flower. You can't force things too much, you know what I mean? Um, I have no idea what you're talking about, Larry. Oh, uh, er, forget it, I didn't say anything. Yes, of course you didn't, Larry. Larry, where were you and what were you doing on the night of the crime? Larry... What? Don't tell me! You think I might have done this? W what? Get lost! Go back on your charter jet and... Get out of my sight, you creep! And I hope your plane crashes and you die! I'll ask just one more time. On the night of the murder, where were you and what were you doing? Larry, I must you cause trouble yet again. As I suspected, a psych lock, psyche lock, psycho lock is what he calls him. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You know me. I just don't remember. My short-term memory is a wreck, dude. Of course it is. Hmm. Uh, I don't think you're gonna be use very useful to me. Just yet. <clears throat> well, I can't go to the main to the courtyard yet. What do I have to deal with, Larry? 
My, my, my! A handsome boy such as yourself is always welcome. Ah, if circumstances weren't so tragic, I mean just... Please don't call me boy. I'm sorry to trouble you. But I'm looking for a woman in a bikini. Well, you have found her. Now what can I do for you? I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't see any bikinis. If you ask nicely, I might give you a peek, big boy. <laughs> um, Mr. Edgeworth? <clears throat> this is the head nun, Sister Bikini. She's the witness. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? This is exactly why your salary keeps on getting cut. Ugh, my stomach is already growling in protest. So, so, um... The latest about my beloved Iris. Well, first, <coughs> <coughs> well, first, I want to hear what you know. Oh, oops, button. There we go. First, I'd like to ask you about last night. Well, last night we had an accolade here for training. After dinner, the two of us went to the training hall in the inner temple. <coughs> Let's be talking about Maya. Approximately what time was that? I suppose it was about nine when we left here. Training lasts all night long. It's extremely exhausting. The channeling judges had none. You must be in attention at all times to keep watch. Well, you're right. That does sound exhausting. Detective, this is no time for flattery. Sorry. Sometime around oh, sometime around eleven, you witnessed the incident in the courtyard. But your duty was in the inner temple. Why did you come back here? Oh, the way you're staring at me, I'm starting to get goosebumps. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'm starting to get goosebumps myself, but for a decidedly different reason. Oh, you get the chills pretty easy, don't you, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, yeah, from creepy women who try to flirt with me. Alright then. I'd like you to tell me exactly what you saw in the courtyard. It must have been past eleven. Uh, no, I can't say it. it. It's too much for my poor heart. Hey, calm down, lady. Let go of my tie. <clears throat> I saw two people. One of them was lying on the ground. The other one was... Stabbing her from the back with the sword. Did you see this criminal with your own eyes? I didn't want to believe what I was seeing, but it was Iris. You must have been quite shocked. Of course she was. Try putting yourself in her shoes. It'd be like if you were stabbing Mr. Wright. Smack in the middle of a courtroom. And I happen to witness it from the witness stand. I'd be pretty shocked, too. I know it sounds insane, but that's what I saw. And when I finally realized what I was seeing, I screamed. And then I passed out. <clears throat> Unfortunately for us, her testimony seems to be pretty solid. 
However, the idea of Iris doing such a foul act seems unnatural. Unnatural. All I know simply isn't capable of this sort of foolish foulness. <coughs> I wonder what she means by that. As the head nun, it's your duty to stay with the acolyte at all times, correct? Yes, that's correct. I know my, I know I may look strong, but the truth is I've got a bad lower back. A bad lower back. Yes, it's especially bad in the winter. So bad that I can't even lift a bucket. Do you remember how cold it was last night? My bad back fell as stiff as frozen glass. I just wanted to take a nice hot bath and ease my aching back. That's why I returned to the main hall. So you left the disciple all alone. Don't be ridiculous. I would never do that. That's why I ordered Iris to the inner temple after she had run the bell for lights out. Yes, but she never went to the inner temple, did she? Did this head nun even see Iris? I think I'd better try to get some more details. <coughs> so who is this acolyte that was to train at the Inner Temple? Her name is Maya Fay. I treated her very badly, I'm ashamed to say. And after she went through trouble of signing up for the special course. Special course? It's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant 30,000 times. You don't mean to tell me she's still doing that over at the Inner Temple, do you? No, 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 of course not. You don't have to worry about that one little bit. Last night, we still hadn't started the training session itself. Well, um, that's good to hear. <coughs> oh dear, dear. There's one thing I forgot to tell you. Uh-oh. I don't think I like the sound of this. Do you know that small girl? I believe she's Mystic Maya's little sister. Maya has a little sister. Oh, you mean Little Pearl? That's Maya Faye's cousin. Little Pearl. I thought she was going to visit Mystic Elise after cleaning up dinner. But I haven't seen her at all since late last night. She's nowhere to be found. Y you mean she... she was with the victim? It's all the fault of my stupid, creaky old back. The little girl who was with the victim on the night of the murder is gone. As they say, the plot thickens. <coughs> Let's move on to that courtyard, shall we? The Kura Temple Courtyard. And this is where the murder took place, sir? Other than removing the body, we left everything else untouched. Thanks, Detective. I'll just have a look around. It looks like the police are still investigating. Oh yeah, by the way, I thought I'd better ask, just to be sure. Are you really going to defend that nun Iris at the trial tomorrow? Yes, I will. I gave her my word, and now I must follow through with my commitments. Well, in that case, I've got to be careful. <coughs> got to make sure I don't loot the prosecution's whole investigation. Don't worry about it, detective. Just keep your mouth closed, and I think most of it will flow out on its own. Roger, sir. I know exactly what you're saying. Very well, Detective. Thankfully, his diarrhea of the mouth is permanent. Do you have anything you want to say, Detective? Yeah, looks like you have a little bit to say. Alright. 
The victim is the famous picture book author, Ms. Elise Darnia. Her entire positive until she won that Brainer Award last year is a total mystery. It's hard to believe it this in this day and age you can still find people like that. The estimated time of death of the victim was between 10 and 11 p.m. on February 7th. <coughs> Cause of death was blood loss, resulting from a stab to the back by the murder weapon. The murder weapon? The victim was found skewered with a giant sword, sir. That's terrible. Yeah, but there's one strange thing. Yes. The victim's entire body was covered with bruises. The bruises are consistent with falling from the height of a two-story building. A two-story building. That would be about the same height as that room in front of us, correct? <coughs> hey, you're right. Way to go, Mr. Edgeworth. That just happens to be the room that Elise Donim was staying in. Maybe she was pushed out of the window after she was stabbed by the sword. Autopsy report added to the record. Now then, detective. Let's see if we can summarize what we've learned so far. Okay! Let's take a look at the map. According to the testimony of Sister Bikini, the head nun, she and Maya Faye headed to the inner temple right after dinner was finished. <coughs> At 10 p.m. after ringing the bell for light is out, Iris went to the inner temple too. When she got there, Bikini had her take over while she went back to Hazakura Temple. After taking a hot bath to sue her back, Sister Bikini witnessed the murder of the, in the courtyard. more details, you should ask Bikini herself in the main hall. The inner temple, huh? I'd like some more information about that place. That opened up a nice, another topic nice and easy. <coughs> huh? What are you doing now? Oh. That's what you're doing now. <laughs> there we go. Hit the wrong button. <coughs> tomorrow, but who's the prosecutor? I'm pretty sure it's that Goto guy, but nobody can get a hold of him, so they're looking for a replacement. What do you mean? It's really weird. All of a sudden, no one can reach him. Hmm, I wonder if the rumors are true. Maybe since Mr. Wright caught a cold and won't be defending, he just lost interest. I intend to appear in court as the role of defense lawyer. However, I would be quite unhappy if it came out that I'm actually a prosecutor. Yeah, I can see why. <coughs> but I'm not the one you have to worry about. I think the real problem is going to be the judge. Yes, he certainly would remember my face, even after such a long absence. I requested another judge preside over the case. We've only met each other once. There's a good chance he won't remember me at all. Y yeah, but what about the prosecutor? <coughs> one of the prosecutor's office must know you. Would it be a problem if someone there made a big stink, sir? There's no need to worry. A 
pulled a few strings and arranged for a prosecutor of my own choosing. Wow, Mr. Edgeworth. I had no idea you had such a powerful string to pull. I wonder who pro which prosecutor that'll be. What is this inner temple that Maya was supposedly training at? According to Bikini, it's an old building that they used for training the acolytes. It's on the other side of Dusky Bridge. The bridge that burned down. Hmm. Is there anything else on the other side of that bridge besides the inner temple? Nope, not a thing. Nothing? The other side is surrounded by cliffs on all sides. In a way, it's kind of like a little island out there. <coughs> so the only thing there is the inner temple. I hear it's not the kind of place a person could survive in. Please be alright, Maya. Oh, he cares. Well, there must be things for us to find here, so... Let's investigate. Have a look at this. This metal weapon. So the sword from this gold statue is actually the murder weapon. <coughs> it sure is, it's called a shishishito. By the way, flat, nasty piece of work, sir. There's still blood on it. I suppose this is the victim's blood. Yep, it's all over the blade. And speaking of all over the blade, there are fingerprints all over the hilt of the shishishito, too. Fingerprints? Naturally, they match the prints we got from the younger nun, the defendant. Her fingerprints are on the murder weapon? That's not good for our case. What's wrong? You're looking really solemn. Is this how it is for right? Is this what it's like to be a defense lawyer? Yeah, I figure it doesn't feel really good. To be honest, it feels more like it's detrimental to your health. Is that why he got a cold, so he wouldn't have to deal with the courtroom? Oh, I just love skiing! Really? You don't um, seem like the type. Well, what about sleds? Sleds? No, they're a little too kitty, you know? This is just my hard boiled image. What's with the silence, Mr. Edgeworth? It is the world starting to go mad. There's what I was looking for. It's on this side, okay. What's this? It looks like a wizard staff. That belongs to the victim, Miss Elise Donine. There's nothing strange or magical about it. Oh, yeah. Listen, this is just between us, okay, sir? Yes. What? This is top secret stuff. Don't tell anyone about this. Alright, I'm listening. The truth is, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a wizard. <laughs> what do you think, sir? That's it? That's what you wanted to tell me? That's it? The staff was made from a very strong kind of wood. What about fingerprints? Were there any on it? Just the victims. Victim staff added to the record. Let's see, is there anything else I can gain from here? Let's 
this? It's a lantern. I suppose they light it at night. There's something elegant about the light of a fire. At the end of each month, I always like to relax in my room by candlelight. Detective, can you not afford to pay your electricity bill? How did you know? Because you're poor and I keep cutting your salary. think of any other clues here. I guess we should go back. Hmm. I don't see Larry anywhere. Maybe we scared the poor kid away. His heart was shut tight with a psycho lock. I guess I'll have to look for him now. What a thorn in my side, Larry. <sighs> we'll go look for him momentarily. Suppose this type of thing is necessary up here in the mountains. Say, this dude gave me a great idea. Something tells me he's going to tell me what's on his mind. Whether I like it or not. Good idea for a brand new invention. It might even make me rich. An invention? Yeah, a car that can travel in snow. I'll call it a snow car. So what do you think, sir? Would you go for a ride on something like that? Only after you take the first... 1,000 test rides. Hmm. I go back to the bridge. Anything to examine here? Not really. I guess I missed stuff, but I could... The temple. Is there anything useful to present to her? Oh! How could such a terrible thing have happened? It's all, it's all, it's all my fault. Well, come on, lady. I don't think you need to quiet. No, anyway. Ouch, you're scary. There's that stupid five o'clock shadow and that stupid old coat of yours. It's too bad that you weren't the one that disappeared. Why does she have to take it all out on me? Her anchor does seem a little manufactured. Maya in the training hall in the inner temple last night. Did you happen to see Iris while you were there? Of course I saw her. I told her to meet us after ringing the one ten o'clock bell for lights out. So you're saying Iris came to the inner temple then? Of course she did. Iris has always been a good obedient girl. After that, I had Maya begin our training ceremony. But that doesn't fit with Iris' story at all. She said that she never went to the inner temple. As they say, the plot thickens. Is there anything more you can tell me? that way.
Maybe I should go talk to Iris again. No, I don't think she's here. Oh, she is here. Oh, Mr. Edgeworth. I came by because I need to ask you a few more questions, if you don't mind. But I have already told you everything that I... Iris, please remember. I'm on your side. You can tell me anything. Y yes, so thank you. Oh, yay, new topic. I just finished speaking with the head nun of Hazakura Temple. She testified very clearly as to what happened. She said she saw you stab Miss Elise Donim with the sword. And one other thing. She said that when Maya Faye began her training at the Inner Temple, you were there as well. What? When I spoke with you last, you claimed that you never went to the Inner Temple. And yet Sister Bikini says that she met with you at the Inner Temple that very night. But, but, I... I didn't go there. I didn't go to the Inner Temple last night. Hmm. It looks like she's unwilling to tell me the whole truth. I wonder if I'll find the answers I'm looking for if I break those psycho locks. Well, I can't really break them yet. I'm going to have to come back. I don't have anything to break them with yet. Clearly missing some... Some things here. Must be things to, to examine. There is, so I guess I'll have to go find out. Alright, figured out what I need to do. I missed a piece of evidence that I need to pick up. Isn't that where it is? Oh, it's not even close enough, okay. cushions in this corner of the room. What's that white piece of paper sticking out from under that stack? Mm, it's me. Would you mind checking that for me, Detective Gumshoe? Yes, sir. On the double, sir. Here you are, Mr. Edgeworth, sir. It looks like an old manila envelope. Detective, this this could be it. And an ultra important clue, a super special clue. I suppose I should read it myself then. It looks like a letter addressed to Sister Iris. Tonight at tonight at ten at Heavenly Hall. Unless you want your secret to be exposed. But this sounds like a blackmail letter. Nice go in there, Mr. Edgeworth. Where can I ever find clues like that? You're an ultra important prosecutor. A super duper prosecutor. Well, I suppose it takes a super duper kind of dumb to miss a clue like this. Don't call Gumshi dumb, Edgeworth. <laughs> Alright, now we can move on. Break 
back, fake lock. She only has two right now. I was frightened. Since I've been head of this case, it is my duty to dig up all the answers, understand? Yes, sir. The smallest flame is sometimes can sometimes be the case in a whole new light. In my years in court, I've seen it happen over and over again. That's why I'm committed to searching until I have those answers. Now then, is it really true that you didn't go to the inner temple last night? Yes, I swear. I already told you that. Yes, you said you didn't go because you were frightened. That's right. If that's the case. Then the obvious question is, what were you so afraid of? Iris, I wonder. Is this what frightened you so much that you couldn't even leave your own room? Well, it must be this thing. Come. Oh, wait. That's not the note. <laughs> there it is. Iris of Hazakura Temple. Salutation here. If there's something I must talk to you about, I'll be waiting for you tonight at Ta Heavenly Hall. Make sure you come, unless you want your secret to be exposed. Take that! I saw this in the main hall. It is addressed to you. Uh, 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 that's... Well, Iris, why... Why are you glaring at me like that? You were scared of the blackmailer who wrote this to you, isn't that correct? Was it the evidence or the power of my glare that broke that lock? Oh well, I don't suppose it matters either way. But, Mr. Edgeworth... Yes? I thought that letter was just someone playing a prank on me. A prank? Well, yes. After all, even if I did have a secret, there's no one to tell it to you that would cause me any grief. Hmm. I wonder about that. Sister Bikini is like a mother to me. I would never hide anything from her. No, you may not have anything to hide under normal circumstances. However, last night was different. Unfortunately, I don't know the exact nature of your secret yet. However, whatever it is, there is one person you didn't want your secret told to. It would be Phoenix. Phoenix Wright. Uh, you mean something to write, it seems. And I can tell he holds a special place in your heart as well. That's why you didn't want him, of all people, to know your deep, dark secret. Well, what do you have to say? Should have expected as much, especially from a friend of his. Unlock successful! Yay! After dinner, the letter was waiting for me in my room. As I said, I was frightened by it. What is this heavenly hole the letter mentions? small mountain shack at the base of Dusky Bridge. A small shack, huh? It's more like a broken down shack that no one would ever want to go near. Hmm, where is it on this map? It's around here. To get there, you must follow a small path down from Dusky Bridge. The reality is, to get to the inner temple, I had no choice but to cross that bridge. But the thought that such a terrible criminal could be lurking at Heavenly Hall? I... I was so scared by the whole affair that I didn't want to think about it at all. 
So is this the secret that you tucked away in your heart? Yes. It looks as though I may have to visit this heavenly hall now. Maybe I'll find some sign of a mystery blackmailer. In any case, you still claim to have never left your room last night. Yes, that's exactly right. This is testimony added to the record. The trial starts tomorrow. I promise you, I will win. I'm going to win so that you and Phoenix Wright can see each other again. But when I do... You must promise me that you will tell him your secret. But it's pointless. Why would you say that? Because I may know who Phoenix Wright is, but he has no idea who I am. Oh, it's so sad. This, this case is so sad. Now we can go to Heavenly Hall. Yay! Whoa! Not much of a view down here, huh? It's still better than the view from my apartment, though. T Someone's here. Hide yourself, detective. Why, 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 why does this always happen? Whenever I find a girl I like, they always run away. <coughs> I'm gonna chase one of them to Tibet. Next is going to be prison, I guess. I'll steal that detective's wallet. That'll get me locked up for sure. No, I can't do that. To someone who looks like he's down on his luck. He's just talking to himself. Shh, be quiet and listen. I knew it. I, I shouldn't have done that. I blew it again. Done that. What did he do, I wonder? Hey, you! Uh, that what you just said. I had an objection. Uh, what, 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 what the? Uh, uh, gee, you dirty rat! Teddy's blaring now, nice. Come to you, you oaf. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Before I knew it, I was shouting objection. And a loud commanding voice, too. I even pointed with my pointer finger. You've watched too many trials. I'm sorry. Okay, Larry, the jig is up. What have you got to say for yourself? Uh... I'm not gonna talk to you, Edgy. What is this little shack, anyway? Well, I just discovered it myself yesterday. <coughs> then why are you down here in the first place? Er, uh, come on. I'm an artist. I was looking for a good place to sketch. This is a great little place. It's, um, artistic. It's quiet, it's cold, it's got no power, and it looks like it's about to collapse. Sounds a lot like my apartment there, pal. One thing's for sure. No one is likely to show up and disturb you here. So, can I get you something to drink? Some hot water, maybe? He's getting all buddy-buddy on us, sir. Yeah, it's because he has the delusion that we're friends. Listen to me, Edgy. You've got to do this. You've got to save Iris. Why are you so sure she's innocent? Because she's cute. Watch your mouth. Anyway, I've made up my mind about it. I'm going to marry that girl. Um... Mr. Edgeworth is pretending he didn't hear you, so I'm going to ask for him. 
If you already asked this girl to marry you? No, 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 not yet, but I can tell how she feels by the look in her eyes. She's got this, I really want this man to carry me over the threshold, look. I'm sure Nick would be surprised. I never imagined that I could marry such a beautiful girl like that. Something tells me he would be shocked indeed. And not because you're the one that's marrying her. That's why I don't want her to do anything dangerous. I mean, what am I going to do if she gets hurt? I trying to say? He lost me about a while back, a mile back. If we really want to know the answer to that, we're going to have to drag him onto the witness stand, which I really, really do not want to do. I'd like to see Larry the least amount as possible. Come to think of it, you still haven't answered my question. Where were you and what were you doing last night? Aw oh, man, don't you have anything else to talk about? With that kind of attitude, you'll never be a ladies' man like me. Uh, oh, okay, okay, chill out! This is the scary eyes, I got it. You really want to know, last night, I saw something incredible. Something incredible. Really? You don't want to tell me about this incredible thing? Yeah, yeah. But let's not talk about that now. Let's talk about the good old days. What do you say, Edgy? Come on, I'll pour you a nice cup of hot water. Why hasn't he realized? I absolutely despise talking about the good old days. Especially with him. Is there anything to examine here before I try to unlock him? Mm. Not really see anything, so let's give it a whirl. the crime. Alright, now you're going to tell me what you really saw last night. Whoa, you're really upset, aren't you, Edgy? Huh? That was a bit too easy. Yeah, anyway, it was awesome. Never seen anything like it. Around 10 o'clock last night, it started thundering. I've been sleeping. I'm not sure how long. Suddenly, zing! The world in front of me went white. I think I'd just been slapped in the face by old my old girlfriend Albie. And then, and then it was on fire. The bridge was it was on fire. Jessica bridge caught on fire. Are you saying you saw it with your own eyes? Hey, why are you giving me the evil eyes? I'm telling the truth. Hmm. There's still psycho locks remaining. Three of them, I know less. That means he's still trying to hide something. By the way, Larry, where were you when you saw that happen? What, 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 where you say? What, what do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Just answer the question. I was in my own room by the main hall. Where else would I be? As usual, be as transparent as an empty jelly jar. The problem, I suspect, lies there. There? What do you mean by the, the, the there? It's impossible for you to have seen the lightning strike dusty bridge from your room. Guide map. There it is. Take that. This is a map 
map of the area. Take a look around the vicinity of Hazakura Temple. W what am I looking for? I think that should be fairly obvious. The main hall is surrounded by trees. It's impossible to see the bridge from here. What? Why didn't you tell me that before? That's one down. Well, how about it? How about what? Do you feel like talking now, Larry? About what? It looks like it won't be that easy after all. You leave me no choice. I'll have to move on to the next step. You weren't in your room at the temple, so then, where were you? You don't know that. I wasn't in my room. I wasn't, like, not in my room. So, where was Larry and why was he there? If I get the situation up to this point correctly, the answer is fairly obvious. Very well then. Let's test my theory. The place you witnessed lightning striking Dusky Bridge from was, well, here. The place you saw the lightning strike from was naturally Heavenly Hall. Why would I be hanging on this old shack? It's freezing cold, there's no electricity, and it could fall apart at any minute. Larry, how do you know that anyway? How do you know there's no electricity? After all, it's not that dark yet. Uh, uh, uh oh. In other words, you have just provided evidence to prove my theory. My theory that you've at least once in your life visited Heavenly Hall after sunset. I have to admit, I'm impressed, Edgy. You're in a totally different league from Nick. That's nice. Now tell me. What were you doing in this cold little shack last night? That's what you might call a fair decor. I think you mean a fair decor. Could it be you were waiting for someone? Oh no! You really are one scary guy, you know? <clears throat> I believe that last night you were waiting for this person to come meet you. There's only one person you'd wait for in a horrible place like this, Larry. I told you before, don't call me Larry. The person you were waiting for was Iris, of course. Oh, suddenly I feel cold all over, Edgy. No doubt because of my chilly glare. So you think I got the hots for Sister Iris, huh? D -d -d Do you have some kind of evidence? <coughs> you got something that proves I was waiting f for? Or are you just guessing? This is where I draw the line and end this ridiculous little game. Here's the evidence that you were waiting for, Iris. to Iris. Here's your evidence, Larry. You called her to this spot with a pathetic blackmail letter. Oh, hey! G -g give that back! You're embarrassing me! What are you doing with that anyway? That's not important. I misjudged you, Larry. What do you mean? Taking advantage of a woman's frailty like that? You should be ashamed of yourself. Uh... Uh, first of all, what's this at the top of the letter? It says salutation here. Well, well that's what it said in the book. Letter writing for dummies. You're not supposed to actually write that. That's what you're supposed to write, dear Iris. Well, uh, I'm so sorry. That was an annoyance, Larry, but at least we unlocked your psycho locks.
So you were here in Heavenly Hall last night, were you not, Larry? And you saw the lightning hit Dusky Bridge, didn't you? So sorry, Edgy. Sorry to, like, cut it. You scumbag. Turning again, lady like that. Oh. Wait, hold up. <clears throat> what now, pal? What are you talking about? What threatening stuff? I'll tell you what. You tried to scare Iris by threatening to expose her secret, pal. What do you mean, threaten? Why did I threaten her? Unless you want your secret to be exposed? That sure sounds like a threat to me, pal. Blackmail, in fact. Give me a break. It's a love letter. Have you ever been in love? Um, w what did you just say? My love for her burned so hot, it could melt all the snow in this mountain. Okay. Then what is this secret you mentioned? Come on, Edgy. Don't you get it? I'm talking about the secret love between her and me. Obviously, she wouldn't want old Lady Bikini to know about it, right? About her hot and sour, bittersweet love affair. All right, then. Why did you send a love letter in a business-like manila envelope? Give me a break. It's not my fault. I didn't have any other envelopes. Yeesh! Then why were you so quick to apologize, Paul? It's because Edgy gave me that scary look of his. What's wrong, Edgy? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? That's it. That's all those huge locks were about? Uh, I don't understand why you were so defensive. Well, I don't know either. I guess the thing is... You shouldn't expect too much from a guy like me. Hey, come on. Don't let it... Get you down? But, but, Mr. Edgeworth, this guy is still hiding something, I know it. What do you mean, Detective? <clears throat> <clears throat> Don't forget what this guy said just a minute ago? If you really want to know, last night, I saw something incredible. Hmm, he's right. For once. Larry, what? what You're looking at me like a hungry dog that just found a bone. What was this something incredible you saw last night? You're going to tell me, Larry, one way or another. I, I already told you, didn't I? I saw lightning strike Dusky Bridge. Yes, and I believe it was the incredible sight you saw. But now that I think about it, something doesn't quite ring true. W what doesn't? <clears throat> well, that's all there is to your story. Your heart wouldn't have had all those locks. Yes, Larry. I believe you did see something last night. Something more incredible than lightning. What? 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 When? When? Where? Where? What? Uh, how? Hey, what do you think you're doing? If you had anything for Mr. Edgeworth, I'll rescue you on the spot, pal. Uh, uh. More Cyclops, Mary. Well, that's even way worse than last time. Oh, uh, Larry. What's wrong, sir? <clears throat> Does this mean I have to do it all over again? Wh why are you glaring at me like I'm next to be hit by a bolt of lightning? I've just about had it with this hooligan. Harlequin? I'm not quite sure what that said. If I really want to drag the truth out of him, I just have to drag him to the witness stand. 
Uh, why me? Just why me? I don't want to cross-examine him. Uh, anyway, until next time, to be continued. Uh, good part of the game. So, next time we will do trial with Edgeworth as a defense attorney. Should be real fun to see. I'm your host, Kayla Huatari. Please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think, and we'll continue with more Edgeworth next time.